Hi, I'm Phineas Cromwell. I'm Abigail Beatrice Cormack. And I'm Lucas M. Buford. And this is Antiford on Air for January 2015. We'd like to welcome some new members to this site. Uh, Juniper and uh, Kaminoshi Pinch... Pin... Pincer. Pincher? Pincher. Pincher! Pincher. Yeah! <laughs> I have trouble with German words. We're, um, we're very happy to Yes, we're happy to have you, and we're looking forward to seeing all the stuff that you do. So, welcome! Uh, website news. Uh, we've finally added private messaging. Private messaging! Yay. So, now you can go to somebody's uh, directory page, and in the upper right, there's a little chat icon. You click it, and a chat pops up, and you can pop that wi uh, out to its own window if you like, and and have secret messages with other members. Is that mm -hmm. bad stuff? Yeah. Like calling people butts? That's the first message I sent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we're very happy that the that the private messaging yes. is, is up. So we're like a real website. <laughs> well, we were always a real website. But, but now we're even more like Facebook. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so... Seeing as how it's the beginning of the year, we would like to essentially give you our 2015 lineup, what we're planning on doing, where we're planning on being, and to start that off, in not too long from now, we're going to be going to TempleCon, like we do every year. Yeah. TempleCon is awesome. Mm -hmm. And this year we're going to be doing four panels. We're going to be reprising our world building panel mm -hmm. from from Air City Expedition, which was very well received and we're very much looking forward to doing that. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to be doing our Antford 101 again. Yep. Yeah. Huh? In addition to that, we're going to be debuting our story time panel. Story time! So much fun. Which yes. is going to be some of us telling you a story, some of us acting out said story and you choosing details. And choose your own hilarious. All the important bits you get to choose. So um, that's actually scheduled for Saturday night off of TempleCon. So if you're feeling a little si silly because it's getting a little late, come join us and we'll tell you a story and we'll have lots of fun. Yes. And also, our fourth panel yep. is going to be Lucas's Automaton mm -hmm. panel. I'm talking about the robots and the golems and the automatons and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So I did it at RuffleCon and it was really fun and I people enjoyed it. So I'm gonna be excited to do it again. Yes, and we're excited to see it. Yes. <laughs> so after that, uh, well, after that, it's see. May, I believe. <gasps> oh yes, Watch City Festival. Uh, Father's Day weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, it was always one of my favorite festivals. They uh, It was canceled last year uh, for various reasons. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to see it come back. Um, we're, you know, uh, good luck to the people running it. At the very least, it'll be a nice warm weekend in the park in Waltham. Yes. And that's awesome. Yeah. So I always enjoy being down there by the Charles River Museum and the river and all the restaurants with mm. the the stage in the back and all those things. And there's a lot of fun, there's a lot of great vendors, it's just a good time with yes. good people. Even when it rains. Even when it's Even when it miserable rains. out, it's a riot of a time. Yes. yes. And then the weekend after that, um, we're hoping to go down to see you guys in New Jersey for uh, World's Fair. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. World's Fair, the last time we went was 2012. Mm -hmm. So we haven't been there for a few years, but um, we're hoping to, to make the trip down and see all the awesome vendors and the awesome entertainment there. Because Watch City always has amazing entertainment. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you mean World's Fair. World's Fair? Oh, did I say Watch City? Yes. I mean World's Fair, because World's Fair is awesome being down in New Jersey. <laughs> um, well, Watch City is also awesome, but obviously not as much as... <laughs> Rolls fair. So, um, hopefully we'll see you there. Yeah, it'll be good to see new faces. Yes. And faces we haven't seen in a yes. long time. Then, we move into the summer, and 
like we did last summer, we'll have there'll be there are always lots of small events, beach days, and mm -hmm. maybe another Nerf battle. Right. Um, right. Yeah. We'll have small events, but generally the the summer is low key. Yeah. But then we roll, when we roll into the fall, we start off with Machenbachen. Mm -hmm. It'll be our third year. Mm -hmm. We'll have more nice. games, more food, another contest. So look out for your details on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just generally a good time. Yeah. 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 So and hopefully the high striker doesn't break this year. <laughs> We're happen. rebuilding it. You pick up. Better, we faster, have, stronger. We have the technology. <laughs> we have steel bars. That's what we have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. And so after Malkenbachen, there's a new event. Um, I believe it's the Springfield, Vermont Steampunk Festival. Yes. Um, we love Vermont. We love all the Vermonters we've mm -hmm. encountered who are steampunks. So we're really excited to go to Vermont and have some fun. Yes. Yes. So we'll see you there. Uh, we're hoping all of you guys will join us in going over to Vermont and seeing who's in steampunk in Vermont. Mm-hmm. Mm. We're very excited. Mm-hmm. Speaking of very excited. Very excited. So um, there isn't really much else until uh, October, but the first week of October is RuffleCon, uh, my favorite convention. And uh, this year we've actually been working very closely with the, the staff of RuffleCon, and we have been um, invited as guests. So um, we're, we're very grateful that they, they chose us to be sort of their steampunk liaisons. Um, and so... We invite you, any steampunks, any of our members, anybody who does anything fashion-wise, to come to RuffleCon mm. because it's going to be awesome. Like, we're going to do so many panels. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to function. There are so many panels. Um, yeah. But it's it's going to be a lot of fun, and we'd like to thank the staff again for being so awesome and amazing and inviting us. So, yep. so we'll see you there, hopefully. Then... A um, couple weeks after that, yep. yep, we have once again a, pan a, a, a convention that we go to every year. Every year. Every year. Every <laughs> AAC, another yes. anime convention in Manchester, and uh, it's a great event to end the year uh, for us to end the year on. Uh, even though it's October and there's still a couple months left, but yeah. it's a great it's a great event. Um, we always have fun. Uh, seeing everybody cosplaying, seeing old friends, meeting new people, yeah. um, should just be yeah. a great time, yeah. Yeah. as usual. Yeah. So, uh, you know, other little events here and there, I mean, well, little. We expect some of our members to go to TeslaCon again, yes. so, yeah. you know, definitely so say... So have fun! Mm -hmm. ha say hi to everybody. We're jealous! Mm -hmm. Mad jelly. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> And spread that jelly on toast. <laughs> yes. Very thick. And like more jelly than toast. <laughs> As always, every every month there is a New England steampunk meetup yes. group. Mm -hmm. um, they look like they're ha gonna have a new uh, semi permanent meeting place. They did seem Finally. to really enjoy going on to field trips to new places all the time, yes. so they're not going to be as static as they once were, but they do have a place that they can fall and back on. And that's located in Worcester, correct? I believe so, okay. yes, yes. Um, so a fairly central location yeah. for most of New England. Yep, yep. Which is nice. Yeah, they, they generally yeah they generally have events in Connecticut and, and Massachusetts, um, and we're hoping to go and come down and see all of our buddies down yes. there again. We'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm. So now we he have with Bonnie knees. Yeah. Yes, he with Bonnie knees. You know who you are. Now uh, most people know who he is. Yeah. So there's a new uh, a new video series that we're that we're working on. We're going to be doing more of that. We want to uh, introduce during right. this. Um, so uh, along with committing to do more videos for you guys. Um, we're going to do more Antifern on airs, try to get them out regularly. Um, but also we're going to start a new video series called the Antifern Community Spotlight. Each video is about you. It's about people in our community. Uh, we want to know more about you and who you are. 
And it's not just for us to get to know more about you, but for other yeah. citizens and other people who are interacting and with our, with our group. It's not even just Antiford related. We want to know about you personally, right. like what your other hobbies are, what makes you you. Right. And we, we want to know, and we want all of our members, especially the new members, to be able to get to know who's their community. Um, and, and that's a lot of why we're doing this. Also, we really want to put the spotlight on you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You do cool you, stuff, and inside and outside of yes. Antifer. Right, and you, you're the back, you really are the, the backbone of our group. Yes, yeah. you we, are what make Antifer, Antifer. Yeah. So we're gonna start out with ourselves, because that's the easiest yeah. thing, but... Just to give you a little bit of inspiration of right. what to do, what to say in your video. An idea. Yes. Um, I will post on the website the guideline of what you need to say or, or come up with the questions. Yep. Um, and we're really calling out for volunteers, for people to volunteer themselves to be in the next Community Spotlight. Yep. So, um, I'll post that. I'm hoping for some good volunteers. And we really, really look forward to seeing all yes. of you guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. But I think that's, uh, yep. that's just about it. That's it. But thank you for watching. This has been Antiford On Air.